YT stands for Ye is Brother's Pastor back in again review, and today we have the new Doctor Who, 13th Doctor's um, action figure doll, whatever you want to call it. This was actually picked up from um, Nottingham, because, to well, yesterday I was in Nottingham and I just came home about a few minutes ago. Um, I haven't just long been at home, but um, this was the last one and it cost me 20 quid. Usually on Amazon it cost me more than that, um, but we have the box um, showing off the sonic screwdriver right there, the the doll. We have the BBC Doctor Who logo with sonic screwdriver, 13th Doctor's 13th Doctor adventure doll, sorry, let me focus. We've got the character options logo there, 5 years and plus, We've got the TARDIS there, speaking of TARDIS it's got the um, other side which looks really nice. On the back, it shows a bit of bio about the Doctor, so if you want to pause and read it, then you can. Showing an image of the screwdriver, but again, more on that in a bit. Um, again, with real fabric and real fabric clothes and new Sonic screwdriver accessory, one um, the license and stuff, and obviously your label squeaking fungal. Um, on the top shows off a clear window through the top, like so. Now, as you can notice on the background, there is actually an outline of the TARDIS, which you can just faintly see, and that's a really good intentional detail. So, let's pause the video, crack it open, and see, obviously, what it's made of, obviously, plastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, just give me a moment. Huh? Um. So here it is out of the box. Um. Sorry for the focusing. I'm actually starting this up in a weird position. Um. So sorry if it just keeps moving. Um. So looking at the doll, we have the. The clothing, which is all fabric with a screwdriver. Um, the head sculpt does look a lot like Jodie Whittaker, especially on the side. Um, this is actually a, a solid head, not rotocast or anything like that. Um, on the back, it shows off the like coat, but there is like this daft little gap here. Um, especially, you can take this off, I think. I'm not quite sure actually. Depends if it's stitched together. I think you can take it off. I don't know. But there's nothing supporting the bottom. But looking at the front coat, we have the bands going all the way down the side of each, which is meant to resemble something like the rainbow or something. Like, I, I, like the top, like the top there. It's meant to like resemble Tom Baker's scarf. Um, she's got the screwdriver. In fact, she even has the hood, which does go overhead when it wants to. But you can imagine the doctor just doing that. Um, the pockets, um, they are just thick pockets, so you cannot put the screwdriver in. Whoops. Um, so they are fit pockets, unfortunately, like, if I just move this out of here, you, you, there's literally nowhere to put the screwdriver. Um, these are the trousers, and these are pretty screen accurate. Um, there is also a Velcro there. Um, so if you guys, like, if the shirt keeps coming out of place, you can just undo that and just pop the shirt back in. So that's a nice little handy feature. Um, it even shows off the straps on either side, especially on the back, I think. It shows off the band, especially going up to the back there. It even has the Doctor Who label, um, including the newer logo. Um, so let me just try and take this coat off her, 
we'll uh, have a look at the details. The articulation is brilliant for what it is. I'm not going to take it fully off, but it even has the, you know, the usual stuff when she has the white patches, especially on there. So that is good. Um. Now, look, before we look at articulation, we're going to have a look at the accessory, which is the Sonic. Um, again, attention to detail on the screwdriver. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, looks a bit like the upper scale version, just without it being switched on. Um, I would like it to have a bit of um, um, some sort of dark wash over it to give it some, like tone and effect to it. I know the box clearly shows that it's got light on it but um, it's not got the pla um, coloured plastic or whatever it is. But it does however has the mesh which if I just, I'm just focus it in. Focus. Oh, we had it a minute ago. Come on I ain't got all night. You can you can just about see the mesh, but you can also see the indents and cracks and stuff like that, and it's pretty nice. It even well, you can't even see the buttons, but it is a brilliant screwdriver to display. Um, so yeah, um, now we're gonna look at the articulation of Jody. We have the head, which is on a ball joint and can do a full three sixty twist she can nod up and down side to side her arms are on the ball joint and they can twist but I wouldn't recommend doing it because you will break the stitching we have the elbow joint we have the uh, the wrists and they even do so that <clears throat> look like she's broken something uh, the hips do twist side to side and they're also on the ball joint as well. The legs can kick out forward and backwards and in and out. The knees can however have, has a double joint here so it can just pretend like she's kicking. The shoes however do twist and so does the upper section of the thigh. <coughs> Um, but that's all it is for articulation. Um, now when it comes to holding the screwdriver, it is pretty tight. Um, if I just quickly show you, so say she wants to point the screwdriver. It's pretty awkward to point the screwdriver. But you know what I mean. So, yes, if I just stand her up. Stay. So, all in all, um, what do I think to this um, doll? I would recommend picking it up. If you haven't got it already, do get it, as it's one, one recommendation. I don't think the actual figures out for the cat for the normal figure scale out yet I don't think that's out but um this was the last one from Nottingham um which was near enough Sheffield where one of the filming locations were for Doctor Who um so I was quite lucky to find that especially at this t well especially at like on like half past five on the evening um, so thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and also comment on the subscribe notes and I'll see you in the next video. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Alonzi Alonzo.